Hello and welcome! I am Zinder, and uh, here we are. As you can tell, I've bricked the walls. There's a lot of exploring for clay out in the water for that. Didn't take a single point of drowning damage, though, so it all worked out. Unfortunately, I keep losing episodes to audio issues. Uh, I've completed the entire stairwell that you never got to hear about. And, uh, I have a pumpkin farm full of the pumpkins you never get to see me get because just repeat audio issue after audio issue. I considered doing a non-live commentary over them, but I figured that would feel a little bit awkward. And even then, I'd probably still end up suffering from issues. But, uh, I got some sheep in here. A sheep. If you're wondering what that one high hole of dirt that goes the whole way up is, uh, well, that was something that I talked about that, uh, got lost. I I'm actually trying a different recording program now, because I'm beginning to think it's the fault of Fraps, because, I, I don't know, I'll just repeat issue after issue. Now, you'll see down here, there's a slowly, there there's a line of dirt. <sighs> Skype message, but anyhow, this line of dirt goes the whole way down into the sheep's pen, which is going to be a entire floor of grass in the end, but this is how I'm getting the grass down there. It'll get down there eventually. Now, there's a couple things. I did find a pool of lava uh, somewhere. I actually lost it, to be honest. I think it was down here. There was a cave that we had went and explored in another episode. There wasn't really anything in it. There was like a couple of zombies. And then there was resources of which I had harvested. I need to look around. I thought the lava was down here somewhere, but... I'd be very wrong. I found... After I had even stopped recording, I found this other little nook here that just kind of... There wasn't anything in here at all. There was no mobs or anything. There was some ores, and I har harvested it. I've got a lot of iron now due to the, essentially, what's practically strip mining. But I was mining to clear out the area. The iron and coal was just a bonus, and I've really cooked through the coal, especially with the bricks. So, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to find this pool of lava. I heard water. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, I hear it. Do you hear it? Lava. So, this is going to be how we're going to get our nether portal via buckets and water, but we're not doing that just yet. I'm not quite ready for it. Um, this episode's going to be mostly me showcasing things off. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, giving you some of my ideas so that way I can work on them and not having them be a complete and total surprise. As for the nether port... What? I'm trying to get out of here in ways that don't get me out of here. Okay. But, uh... We're gonna go up here. I guess I'll just block this back off right like that. Uh, I don't think I ever showed these due to the recurring and overly recurring audio issues. I built a little kitcheny, oveny area here, and this is just here for flavor, because I always jump, o jump over the, uh, the little ledge there. I don't know. Maybe I could bring a pull down, torch sconches, because I like them. And this is my odd chandelier that I put up so I could get some light in the middle because it was just generally too dark. None of that's a big deal considering these are half slabs. And this thing right here barely has the light level it needs to not spawn mobs because these are regular blocks. And, uh,. Anyhow, I dug out tunnels to all four directions. This is fully and totally completed in here. Oh, maybe not. This is fully and totally completed in here, aside from some of the blocks that I need to finish out uh, some of these things. Like, for example, food is going to be melon, so I need to find an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, Mob drops are going to be mossy cobble. I don't have a gold block yet. 
Uh, alchemy is going to be moved into these little rooms here, but we'll get to them in a second. Uh, this one's going to be miscellaneous. This one's going to be redstone. Nether rack and nether brick slash glowstone. And then this is uh, clay and brick. This is snow. But anyhow, now these little rooms, they're going to be lined with... Uh, this is going to be a piece of glowstone when I'm done. There's going to be a piece of glowstone in the exact center. These rooms are 5x5 five five with a glass window into them. And uh, there's going to be a little table made out of half slabs in the middle, which is where the brewing stands are going to sit. The walls are going to be made entirely out of white wool, or maybe light gray, I haven't decided. Uh, same with the floor and the ceiling. Now, as for these little doors here, which this is, these are going to be iron doors... And these are going to go the whole way down to the end as far as I can make them go. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of space involved. There's going to be a source of water in there too. Um, not entirely sure how I plan to do that yet. Now, I was originally going to make these stone brick. And I was going to end up making these something. But I hadn't decided what I was going to do for these. And I tried to ask in the episode that got screwed up. Well, one of the two episodes got screwed up. So, what do you think would be ideal for this? Thinking of, you know, comparing it to the fact that these are going to be white wool. And I was thinking maybe sandstone for this whole little, like, the door borders and stuff the whole way through. Despite how weak it is. But, I don't know, you can think about that. Throw me some suggestions. Uh, the ceiling in here. I was thinking I was going to do a checkerboard of uh, dark wood and light wood. Just because I wanted something that wouldn't be too complicated. And I've used the hell out of stone brick. And I'm going to use the hell out of it even more. So, But uh, the stairwell that goes down, this is made entirely out of stone brick. And uh, each of these, all these rooms are going to be... Ceiling, floor, well not the floor, I have an idea for the floor, I'll get to that in a second. The walls, the ceiling, they're all going to be stone brick. Uh, these are going to be piston doors in the end, that's why this is like this. Although I can't do that yet, I don't have sticky pistons. Same with the pumpkin farm, it can't be automated because I don't have sticky pistons. And I used up my axe and haven't made one. Uh, as for these, I have a really cool idea that I want to do. Instead of using signs for these, which is going to be signs on the doors out there to state what the level is. So, like, this is the agricultural level. So, this is going to be floor basement one, agriculture. Next one down will be uh, basement two, or floor B2. And it will be, I don't know, I was thinking either maybe holding pens, or I could call it uh, specimens. Really like the idea of specimens. But, uh, anyhow, pumpkins are orange. So this entire floor section in between the stone brick is going to be orange wool. This is going to be cactus, so this will be dark green. Maybe I'll line it with black wool, I haven't decided. Uh, tell me what you think. Maybe I'll speckle it with black wool, kind of checkerboard it, I don't know. This is going to be melons, it's going to be lime. I might throw yellow in there or something, even though yellow in this looks terrible. Of course, though, I'm on my own texture pack. I can change it stuff to look like however I want. And then this will be wheat, which I was thinking brown. Pretty much brown. It'll be a while before I can do that. I'll have to find a dungeon, and I have bad luck with those. I have that same concept for down here. Ooh, egg. Oh. The walls are going to be all, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, they're all going to be stone brick. Uh, except for in the in the, the room with the sheep. Actually, I might extend it to all of them, just make it grass. Heck, I can make this entire area down here grass if I wanted, but I'm going to limit it to the rooms. It feels more professional installa installation? Institution? I'm going to have to expand that out. Eventually, the grass will go down there and spread. But anyhow... Uh, it's going to be the same concept. There's going to be stone brick separators like the above room. Sheep are just going to be white wool. Pigs are going to be pink wool. Cows are going to be uh, brown and white. Uh, it's going to have the white in it to separate it from the wheat. And then chickens are going to be uh, orange. I think orange. And uh, white. Maybe some red. I don't know. They're going to be a little bit harder to deal with. 
But uh, that's pretty much the plans for that. I'm going to build each of them their own separate rooms. I'm going to get them all a mate. Except for the chicken. It doesn't really need one. It'll eventually create me one. But uh, that's what I have planned for that overall. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the nether portal. It's probably going to be on the lower level. And I'll call it, you know, like... I don't know. Underworld Research Laboratory? Laboratory? Actually, I'll probably just call it uh, Underworld Research Labs. But, uh... Out here... I remember... Um, I don't know if I mentioned it this time, but as I was out getting clay for the walls, I found a ravine. Ravines are cool. And I figured we might as well go down and see if there's anything useful down there in the ravine. If I get really lucky, I'll find a mine shaft, which would just be absolutely beautiful. But, uh, it's down here. I put a torch down here. And I was thinking about making some kind of like a ladder chamber or something down to here, but, uh, check this out. Get a nice little ravine. It doesn't go down to lava level, it looks like, unfortunately. Maybe there's just no lava here, and it does. Uh, hmm. I don't have a whole lot of resources with me, but I don't have a whole lot of food sources either, so... Oh. Oh no! Okay. As you can tell I'm having some uh, difficulties. Okay. Now, this just should provide us with a way down, in theory. Whee! Geronimo! Well, not quite Geronimo, but... Whoa! Enderman, Creeper, Iron... Maybe we can get to one end of the ravine and explore from there. Ooh, this is... This is dodgy. Okay, there's one end of the ravine. Ooh, iron. I didn't really bring any extra tools with me. Zombie? Still only hear one zombie. So... I'm guessing it's not a spawner, unfortunately. I really need that mossy cobble. Yeah, it doesn't sound to be. Doesn't seem to be increasing. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sketchy way to get down. I'll tell you what, I'll just work on lighting this up and making sure it'll be safe enough to explore. And then I'll come back and get the resources later. Ow, prick. Oh, crap. Okay, so, blocking's useful. Where'd the other one go? Ooh, he's down there. Looks like you're all washed up, Enderman! Oh! Uh, I went there. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. Carefully now, carefully. Carefully. Careful. Done. Careful. Okay. Now that we've got that settled. Ah! So instinctive to just grab the resources. Ow, prick. Okay. Much better. Ooh. This is a nice large ravine, too, it looks like. Ooh, gold. Ow! Prick! Ah! Hmm. Here's the source of the water. Stop it. Oh. 
Okay. Oh my god. So many skeletons. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay. I'll come back and get the gold later. I'll make a gold block for the uh, storage room for the uh, marker. Maybe I'll make a watch first. Lapis. I'll be able to do some blue dyeing later. The reason why I want to do all the gathering later for one is just because I don't have the tools with me. I have one iron pick. And yeah, I could dig up some iron and make some more, but... Uh, I'm going to need to light up the upper levels. I'm going to need access to the upper levels later anyhow, so... Hopefully not gathering should also help me uh, get through this quicker. Because I really don't want a really long episode. I don't, I've don't. i been trying to keep the episodes under 30 minutes. Just the smaller the... F the uh, the video, the more likely I'll be able to try and get other videos out. Hello. Oh. Stupid skeleton. You'll get yours. Don't you dare shoot me. And as I figured, they pretty much stop pathing when they realize they can't get to you. Oh! Don't do that. Oh! Don't. While I'm pretty sure I could survive that fall, I'd rather not test it. Hello, Enderman. Still just chilling out over there. This is more interesting than any of the things I had been doing otherwise. Anyhow, is that a cave? Hmm. Oh! Mistakes were made. Oh, creeper. Wait, where'd you come from, creeper? Didn't I light that up? What is going on? Hmm. There's going to be a lot of lighting up involved in this place. The game's trying to kill me, though. It keeps throwing creepers at me. Surprise creepers. Uh, I kind of want diamonds and redstone, so I'd rather not continue up. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop out these torches. And I'm going to erect a wall here. And that should keep me s Oh, there we go. Spider-proofed. And I'll have to make sure to come back here later. For now, I just want to continue... I got rid of him. Is that his dirt block? Okay. That's two levels lit. Looks like we've got at least one more to go. Hmm. This one's going to be a bit trickier to get to. Maybe. And now I'll just dig a hole in the wall here. It's not that I'm trying to avoid mobs by digging through walls and stuff. I am just can't really think of any other way to get up here, to be honest. I mean, I could just tarred pillar, but I need access for later as well. Ooh, there's a land bridge there. And that could have been potentially fatal. Gunpowder. Do. Want. Okay, that was a bit sketchy. Oh! 
not as sketchy as that. Am I going to run out of cobble? I've only got 21 left. I'm going to run out of cobble. I guarantee it. Okay. It's very dark up there, but as long as I get this lower level lit, I shouldn't have to worry about that. So, we'll light this up. Okay. Stop that. Yes, I'm talking to me. I am out of blocks. So I will just do this. And, okay, that should leave that lit up. If I, if I were to have built this right, I, I still can build it right, essentially. Build it so I can access it from the waterfall, basically. Ooh. There. That should give me waterfall access. I might have to start digging through the walls. Oh, knocked out my torch. I might have to start digging through the walls to build a path along here. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll do this. I'm going to be very irritated if the audio ends up out of sync of this, because if the audio is out of sync on this recording, I'm just going to say, screw it, you're getting what you're getting for now, and I'll probably end up just reinstalling Windows to try and fix it. But uh, that's pretty much what's that with that. Kind of sad that there's only that one little batch of gold down there. But, uh, this can't be my ultra hardcore towards the end of it, where I go in looking for a block, enough gold to make a block of gold, and literally walk out with nine gold in, like, five minutes. I mean, all I want here is a block of gold for some aesthetic purposes, and it's just kind of like, no, sorry. I'm going to do something potentially stupid. Water parachute. Hey! Look at that. I got down here without taking fall damage. Now I'm going to grab this gold while I'm here. Please don't tell me it's only three pieces. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't even make any three pieces, you stupid game. Why do you gotta do this to me? Clock or a gold block, that's what it was after. But no, you couldn't give me four and you couldn't give me nine. Well, obviously you couldn't give me nine if you couldn't even give me four. But, uh... Ooh, what is that? I'm trying to think about how I'm going to get up there. Considering my lack of block situation. Just gotten a little bit better. Is this a cave? No. But it is a dark spot. Ooh. You hear that? Didn't I just find a cave to that side most recently? It's probably this that cave. Yep. Probably. Probably the same zombie I was listening to before, to be honest. So what do you think of my health rectangles? Ooh. That's a lot of zombie noises. Are they increasing? So 
far it doesn't really sound like it. It's not how I'd like to waste your episode. But I must find these zombies. You know, a zombie spawner, I just may make an XP farm out of it. Just because... The finer things in life. Are they below me? Hmm. Down? There's one to the right. Ooh. Cave. Committed now. Okay, he's at my little doorway there. I didn't want to come down here and explore, but somehow I ended up down here anyway. Funny how that works. You're a skeleton. Oh! I didn't do that. You don't see that down there, do you? Fuck! Lay off! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Thank you, skeleton! Okay, that's my cobble mess. However... That is not my cobble. There's no way that's my cobble. Unless I was the whole way back at my house. And even then, I would have known coming into a building like this. Oh my god. Look what we found. Persistence. Finds you things that you want. Not here. Lock this up for a second. Need torches. That's the co all the coal I have on me. Redstone. That's a lot of iron. I'll take this. Take a saddle. Why not? Is there another chest over here? Damn. Single chest spawner. I could make a perfect XP farm out of this. It's I believe it's fairly near to the surface. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it is definitely near to the surface. I'm gonna get the mossy cobble out of that. Does this go... Hmm. Anyhow. It's no double spawner, but it's one spawner. And that's good enough for now. Oh. Okay. Fine. Enough messing with that for the moment. Let's see how much mossy cobble we can get out of here. I believe we need a lot. A lot's a number, right? Okay. And I'll be back with you in a second. Hey, guys. Um... There was three minutes of video that was supposed to be on the end of this. However, we came to a problem. Apparently, no voice was recorded. However, it seems like the audio, except for maybe my voice in a few places, uh, that might just be because I was playing the raw file, seemed to be in sync for the entire previous video, which is more than I can say for the past two episodes I tried to record. But uh, we placed two mossy cobble down here to state that that's the mob box. I put the mossy cobble that I didn't want to make use of yet. I didn't want to make use of yet because I couldn't make anything uniform out front. Let's just go show you how far I got with that. Which, I got two rows in here, so one more spawner should easily complete this. These are rows of nine. Um, but uh, I was thinking about, I could probably make it go twice as far if I checkerboarded it with regular cobbler. 
threw in little patches of regular cobble or something, which would also break up the uh, monotony of all. But uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, well, tell me, give me your ideas for the floors down below. If they seem fine, if there's any improvements you would do for the ideas with those, with the colors and whatnot. And I really want to know what you guys think the idea of the checkerboard light and dark wood ceiling here. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to know what you think. And, uh, well, this is going to be all for now. So, please rate, comment, subscribe, especially if you liked this video. Make sure you like it. Helps get me out there, but, uh... That's all I have for now, so I will see you guys next time.